Once upon a time, there was a lovely bird named Valley. She had been named that because of the valley of daffodils that she had been born in. Her father was the chief of the area, and he was looking for a strong and courageous young man bird for his daughter to marry. Oh, I know there's a strong bird here somewhere. Oh, look at there. There's the one I'm talking about. He was referring to a bird named Shield. He had been named that because he always carried a shield. Yep, this is the one. Yep, this is the one I want you to marry. And he insisted that his daughter married Shield. One evening, as Valley was strolling about, she bumped into an old friend named Bo. Oh, hi, Bo. How are you? I haven't seen you in such a very, very long time. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. I helped my parents and I uh, came back because I wanted to come back. Oh, wow. I'm sure glad you came back. Oh, yeah, me too. I remember how we used to fly and look around for worms and get a whole bowl full of worms. Do you remember that, Bo? We, we could eat a whole bowl full. I sure do. That was really fun. Hey, if you're not busy, why don't we do that this, this afternoon? Oh, that sounds like fun. All right then. So, Bo and his friend Valley flew around all afternoon looking for worms. They had such a fun time together. So Bo and Valley filled up a whole bowl full of worms, just like they used to do. Oh, I can't wait to eat these worms. Me either. Let's get started. And so the two nibbled on the worms together. It was just like old times. They were having so much fun. Oh, this is so fun, Bo. Yeah, it's just like old times, isn't it? For sure. Suddenly, Chief the Chief came along. What's going on here? Uh, Bo, I haven't seen you in a long time. Did you know that this girl is, is engaged? Yeah, Valley's engaged to be married. Oh, no, I, I didn't know that, sir. She didn't tell you? Uh, no, I, I don't re recall. Well, I think you better skedaddle now. Shoo, shoo. Uh, okay, sir, sorry about that. We were just having some worms. Now, you're, ma you're engaged now. You just can't go around having worms with old friends. Oh, Father, you know Bo. He's a very kind bird that was very rude of you. Well, you're engaged. Oh, I don't even want to marry that chi that shield, whatever his name is. He's ridiculous. He's a good he's a good man. Now you just you just go and skedaddle and get yourself together. Father, you're ridiculous. Well, Valley didn't know what to do. She flew about, trying to think of what to do. When she spotted something down below, and this is what she saw. She saw a thief, and the thief was pushing the royal chest of birdseed. It was the chief's royal supply of birdseed. Ugh, ugh, this is heavy. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Uh. So she flew down to investigate. So Valley flew down to find Bo. She found him by a rock. He was talking to himself. Oh, why did I ever move here? I came here to marry my Valley, the only girl bird I've ever loved. And now look, I can't even marry her. I don't know what to do. Uh, excuse me, Bo? Oh, 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 Valley. Oh, hi, hi there. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you uh, uh, talking to yourself, but I need your help. Oh, sure, what is it? Well, I found Shield stealing my father's royal bird seed, and we need to prove it to my father that he's a thief. 
Oh, we can do that. I know where he's hiding out. You do? Oh, yeah, I had to find out where my competition was. Well, let's go. Oh, yeah, I've got a secret way of trapping him. And then your father can come and we got him. All right, let's go, Bo. And so the two took off. And there they saw Shield with the huge chest of the royal bird seed. Aha! No one will get me here. I am so well hidden. Ha! Not even Santa Claus can find me. I've got bird seed to last me for years. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah. What he didn't know was Bo and Valley knew everything. All right, Bo, what are we going to do? Oh, you leave it to me. I know what to do. Can he see us? Oh, no. I made sure of that. I'm going to make an invisible net. I'm really good at it. You can't even see it. Oh, Bo, you're wonderful. Yeah, I'll do that, and then we'll go fly off to catch your father. All right. So Bo was busy making the invisible net. He used a very special spider webbing. Shield wouldn't know anything about it. He couldn't see it. He couldn't feel it. It was very sneaky. All right, is it done? You bet. Let's go get your father. So they flew off. And so Valley and Bo were able to convince the chief to spy on the situation. Now, what's this all about? Father, just look for yourself. And what do you see? Oh, my goodness. That scoundrel, he's got my chest of bird seed. He does. Yes, Father. I need to get the authorities. And so they all flew off. And the authorities were sent to capture the shield. You're under arrest. What? What happened? And they took him off. And the chief was able to get his treasure chest of birdseed again. And what happened to Valley and Bo? They got married, of course, and the chief approved. The end. Hello there, it's me, Ellie, and today we are talking about the E for Eagle combinations today. You remember our eagle, he can fly. Okay, so here's our combination number one. It has an I and an E, but do you think this I says anything? It's in gray. Shh, don't wake it up. This just says E. Two letters, one sound. E. E for eagle. Okay, our next one is just switched. There's an E and there's an I, but this one does the talking still. This is in gray. The I is shh, silent. It's in gray. So it's just... Two letters, one sound. E for eagle. Yes, sir. These two just both say E. Uh-huh. And then we've got one more. And it's just going to say E for eagle. And, of course, we've got our eagle wings on there. Okay. One sound. I put the underline under there. Two letters, one sound. It just took, helps, helps you keep your mind together. This is in gray. Shh, don't wake it up. Just E for eagle. Okay, so there's our setup. There's our three combinations that we're going over today. And in our story, we had valley, uh-huh, and we had bow. And we had a villain, too, but we'll get into that later. Okay, so we had valley and bow and get these out of the way please valley always remembered bow he was very sweet they knew each other when they were little she always remembered him and so bow had the key to her heart uh-huh so we're going to use this combo in the word 
key. Okay, so here we go. Move these up, please, assistant. E, key. Yes, they were together because Bo had the key to her heart. Oh, yes. Oh, hi guys. Oh, I got some combos here. They're pretty similar. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna be using this one. Yeah, it just says E. This one just says E as well, but this is the one we're using. Okay, so in our story, zoom in please. We had a chief, there he is. I'll put him up there, or my assistant will. And we can sound this out. Zoom in please. E, f, ch, e, f. There he is. Uh huh. Okay. Hello there. It's me, Ellie. And you remember Shield from our story? Shield was not brave like the chief thought he was. In fact, he stole from the king's royal birdseed chest, which was for everyone. He could have just asked for some. Shame on you, Shield, for stealing. No, no. Plus, he has wings and he could get his own food. Anyway, I think Shield is just plain weird. Okay, so look behind me. And we're going to zoom in. Okay, here we go. Here's a wa. Here's a e. A rrr. And a da. Shield is just plain wa eared. Yes, he is. Oh, hi guys. It's me, Jerome. It's time for letter art. Oh, yeah. We're going to be drawing Valley and Bo. So get out a dark marker, please. All right, and here we go. We're going to start with the feathers on the top. And then go down the neck, in the back of the neck. Okay, and then go up the other side. Little short beak, longer. Okay, now you're just gonna connect that. That's her forehead. Okay, and then a big eye. Big dot. Okay, a few eyelashes, and then a half of a circle. Big dot, a few eyelashes, okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and draw, I guess, her dress. She's got some wavy lines. And then up the other side. Okay, now a little loop. Okay, and some wings. There you go. Kind of like fingers. Other side. Okay, and some legs. They look like owls. Owls. Like a big owl. And a little tail feather there. Some texture. Good. Okay, now we're going to draw a bow. Okay, so we can start with the top. Come down. Actually, let's do the feathers like we did. And then the back of the neck. Okay, other side. Long beak, long nose. And then he's got his eye here. Okay. And then his other eye. Okay, and that just kind of hits there, but we can kind of pull that back a little. Okay, some eyebrows. There you go. Okay, a little curve around the neck. All right, and let's give him some sleeves. And then up, and then down, over, up, down, over, up. Okay, and some wings in there. Other side. Okay, and a little curve for the body. Okay, and we'll go this way, like the same as hers, but the other way toward her. Okay, a little tail feather. Textures. Okay, give them some stripes. All right, let's use a red crayon or marker. Give them a little color in there. Ah, that's not quite the red I wanted. There you go, and then maybe get a purple marker and draw some purple polka dots on her dress. Very 
you go. Okay, now we're going to write their names. We're going to write a V. Okay, A. Color it red for A for apple. Oh, that red is not real red. Here we go. There we go. Okay, then an O. Vowel. Okay, valley has two beats. So put a dot there and then another O. And then we can do an E for eagle. And get the wings on there, please, with the brown crayon or marker. And then get a gray crayon for a silent Y. Okay, can underline it so you know it's one sound. All right, there we go. V Al, Val, Lee, Valley. Uh huh. And then Bo is super short. Bo. And then O. Remember Mrs. O? She has orange lips. So let's give this O an orange color here. O for orange. O for orange. She has those big poofy lips. Remember our stories? All right, there's Bo. O. Valley and Bo. Yeah, good job, guys. And don't forget our list.